Is that seawater? Look at this, dude. This is so the most disgusting car I've ever touched. It is an exciting freaking day. Part Shot Max, C8, the only one in existence, front angle kit. We have lower control arm, modified C6 steering knuckle, and upper control arm. And we also have the coilovers, which have come back because it's been a totally different strategy than how they were originally mounted on the C8, yeah, because stuff is, is different. Lots to digest here. So. This is the C6 steering knuckle that we use on the demo car, the race car, but it's been modified. We've chopped off the tie rod pickup point and then Chris has designed a bolt on piece that bolts to the three bolts of the hub and puts the tie rod pickup point in the desired location because although we're using a C6 steering rack, everything's in its own happy place. It's a uh, slightly further towards the center line of the hub versus a C6. So that means this needed to be completely changed. When of course, this lower control arm also needs to be designed for the right amount of angle. And I think Chris has this thing measuring out at like 65 degrees of steering angle or uh, more than we're going to need, uh, which is, you know, Chris is getting a little greedy every time he'd be like, well, I could do this or I could do that. He's a little greedy guy over there, but it, it'll be worth it. The Part Shop Max team is here and we're going to put all of this front suspension on the car. And of course, meanwhile, while Chris is here, he's nerding out, doing things like placing the exact location of the exhaust collector to make sure that it goes out. Like it's been here. He's literally spent another hour of his life probably with the tape measure measuring the license plate hole where the exhaust is going to come out so that when we give the dimensions to Borla, it's exactly where it needs to be. I think he's overthinking it a little bit, but that's Measure what, twice, cut once. That's what he does. That's what he does. Yep. And then of course we have Dan, who is the owner of Part Shop Max and my, my buddy for how long now? God, that's a lot of years. We've been working together a very, very long time. There's some S14 action. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We drove together at All Star Bash. I don't know, it was probably like two or three. Maybe that was S13 actually. Yeah, S13 days way back then. And ever since then, we've been buddies and we've been able to develop some amazing top tier professional level suspension components. And I'm so happy that Dan came to experience this because of course he's just seen it digitally and also seen how much time his guy Chris over there has spent on this freaking thing. So this is your first time seeing it really. Yeah, this is a... This is an evolution of something that started with the reintroduction of the Corvette yep. to the drifting community. And, and that was his idea too. When I was torn of what car we were going to build after the S14 days before the C6 Corvette, he kind of pushed me into a Corvette. So that was- Oh, we saw Daigo cheating with it too. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, definitely. That was inspiration. It was, it was exciting, but we are here to put suspension on the car do a measuring sesh, sweep it through, tires, wheel, all of that, we're, we're here to do that today. So there's a lot to do. And literally right now I need to pull the steering rack, trim it so that the clevis fits in and put it all back together so we can put the front end on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Good, I need DIY photos. Oh yeah, well yeah, let's do it. Perfect. Maybe he can put a little groove in there. These are the left hands, yeah. So I noticed when Matt was given his intro, he skipped like a very interesting and important fact Which about one? the C8 project, which is that the design of these arms and the placement of the front wheel, it actually oh, got moved forward. Yeah. And the reason for that is because this car has like one of the world's largest castings and you can see that character in all this ribbing right here. So because the car is so unique and nobody has any experience like, you know, cutting into one of these things, they really wanted to avoid like taking out any of this webbing to accommodate the extra steering angle yeah. when, when the tire comes back into that. So the compromise was that the whole wheel is gonna move forward. So uh, the position of all the arms, once everything's bolted on, and then once the fender arch goes on there, you might actually see that compromise happening when the wheel is swept forward. But uh, you know what, we'll see. I don't know how the wide body yeah, it will react to that, but um, that was one thing that Chris was obviously like bummed about is not having the actual wheel arch of the Liberty Walk kit, right. and the front bumper placement, and all of that. Right, it would have so, been nice to see that in cab. Yeah, because who knows? We might have to take a freaking cutoff wheel to that body kit. You know, you, you know, never know. <laughs> people who love caster though have been known to put like a ridiculous amount of <laughs> like you know forward sweep in their cars and. They just get away with it because like the front end's all empty and you guys did a great job cutting everything out of the front side. There's, so there's room. There there's might be room. like 
There might be zero tap once everything's together. Uh, yeah, I know. Or we might just have a look at it. He trimmed the front bumper, I know. I hope not, but it is the nature of doing business. You want to do like the cut out of the end? Or the hubs from the, the stomach. stomach. That's the sub wizard. Weird. It's the same exact thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the race hub or something. This is. Or maybe the heads of the bolt of the stuff. Yes. So right now, Chris and I are seeing if we need to turn down the head of this bolt because. Uh, the knuckle, the tie rod, gets very close to the head of the shock bolt. So we're just going over to see if we're actually going to need to turn it down or not. Yeah. How funny is it? Normally I'm just like, let's just put it together and we'll see. But this guy would be like, no, let's let's look at the computer. Yeah, this is full droop at 65 degrees angle. Right. So rare that you'll be in the scenario, yeah. but I think and as it, as it bumps so it pulls away? Yeah, so let's not, um, no, 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 this thing can hold 65 degrees angle throughout all of But it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't. Oh pull. yeah, it gets better. It gets, it gets better. better, right? Right, right, right. So I, I, I don't think we should cut it, or sorry, I don't think we should cut half, but I don't know, I mean, maybe skimming a little bit like that. Because everything's gonna flex. Yeah, yeah, This true. is a perfect environment, but we know under I'll just take down that tapered yeah. amount. And that would be good. You yeah. see where it's just okay. flat? I'll yeah. just take that down. We'll just do that. Cool. Yeah. And then put a little champ on it. Right, just yeah. round it out a little bit. Yeah. Cool. I will do that. Somebody else looking for like the rear bumper, CAG bumper. So I found that. Oh, this one doesn't even go in there? Yeah, we just have to pass it. Wow. What, I know you'll make it touch. Wow. Yeah. I know you'll make it yeah, touch at sure. speed. Hey, that's literally the exact amount that we saw on the computer, minus my little right. yeah, lay the action. Dude. This is how you're supposed to build shit. <laughs> this guy, dude. This guy might be too dude. smart for his own freaking yeah, good. Haha, <laughs> ever. Wow, look at this. I know you've never thought like that in the past before, but. You see these, dude? These are different. Never again, Matt. Do you see never that? Never again. He's never gonna get that again. <laughs> pocketed bump stops, dude. The last pocketed bump stop <laughs> that you'll ever in see in your entire life. Look at that. Steering stop. Steering and red lock. Sorry. Haven't failed me yet. Twenty-two, twenty-two is from the bottom. I think I, I'm not sure. The uppers might be nineteen. So. So this is a, a a big moment here because in theory the rack should come out of the car, but we never have done it with all the suspension and everything on. So. Let's see what she does. She, she's gonna go that way. I'm having like. Oh, dude! Look no, that. no problem. Look at that. Look at his face. Look at his smug face. Hey, I did that in the computer. <laughs> dude, I tried pulling it out. Oh, 
Let's see if I, uh, maybe I have longer balls. Oh, right here. Right where the barrel is. Right with the file, you know, the, we Those did the subframe. Those are the right? Yeah, yeah. And then these laser cut ones fit on. Yeah, fit perfect too. I think it was the same thing, like just cleaning up the subframe with the file, any yeah. burrs or anything like that. Yeah, they fit perfect. Yeah, I'll grab it. Yeah, we wanted it like this, and then just straight, straight in, yeah. Oh, uh, you don't have the newer ones? I don't know which ones these are. You have what? 255 GT radial. Brand new Ford Star wheel. Caliper clearance. Perfection. Oh boy. Did you do it with the logo facing the right way? Of course I did, Davis. Quite the moment we're about to have right here. Oh, we needed to get the fenders down. Yeah, Eddie had a good point. But we'll do our looking and stuff first. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, look at the upper arm clearance. Wow. Just like the computer. <laughs> wow. All the back. Oh, that's too That's pretty rowdy. That is rowdy. Yeah, we don't need no, let's just take a look, see here. Well, that's lift on the ground right now. Yeah, lift on the ground. Yeah, ready. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, how much that's, that's all the way. That's too much. <laughs> it's wrong, dude. Hey, can you attach the tie rod? It should be okay. Travel by a lot. Oh, right? Like yeah. your tire still needs to be pressed. Yeah. Yeah. Of the wheel? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah, I went 10 to 5. It was nice. Um, this only worked. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. But, but not with the trend of the capacity, I don't know if it has the strength. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. You can see it. I'll tell you, I'll find it.